Good afternoon, everyone. Wynn Brown here with Haywood Healthcare's COVID-19 update for Monday, the 28th of December. I hope all of you had a wonderful Christmas holiday with your families if you were celebrating Christmas and that you did them in small groups uh, and did a lot of Zoom calls and FaceTime calls with your family to stay connected. I encourage you to do the same thing as we head into the New Year's holiday as well. Um, and you'll see from our positivity rate in the community, we still have a lot of work to do. Uh, over the course of the pandemic, we still sit at 3.3% overall positive findings versus the state at 3.2, so a smidge ahead of the state. Um, we are up a little bit on our seven day rolling average at 7.7% versus the state at 6.28%. So again, uh, we've got to keep that social distancing going on and, and uh, wearing masks and hand hygiene and doing the correct things. Um, at Haywood Hospital, our census of COVID positive patients is 18, four in our ICU, 14 on our Watkins One unit. Thank you very much to all the staff and physicians who are caring for those patients. It is yeoman's work and a uh, calling to do that work, and I really appreciate everything that you're doing uh, to make sure that they are getting the best possible care. Just a vaccine update. As you know, we received uh, a little over a week ago our first shipment of uh, Pfizer vaccine and we distributed those to staff and some first responders in VNA in our community. Um, we have received our first small shipment of Moderna vaccine. There is an email out to all staff at Haywood um, asking them if they are interested in receiving that vaccine and we are tabulating those answers so that we can begin a distribution plan for the small amount of Moderna that we have on hand. Uh, so please uh, take an effort to quickly get that information back so that we can figure out how we're going to um, vaccinate the remaining members of the team here at Haywood. So again, thank you for everything everyone's doing to care for our patients and support our community as we continue our journey to be one of the best community-owned health systems in America. Have a good night.